This is case number SP146-6520, People versus Michael Harris. Names for the record. Dean Carver on behalf of Mr. Harris. Truth Science appearing on behalf of YouTube, Your Honor. Can you state your name? Mr. Harris, can you state your name? We can't hear you, Mr. Harris. Oh, oh. hold on one moment. Ah. Okay. There we go. Keep falling for some reason. You balancing it on something? Yeah. Okay. We can. I think. Ah. Go ahead. Just you state your name. On and for the record. Oh, I put my light on. Oh, shoot, my light went out. This dude is dropping his phone. Now his light went out. You already can tell that this is going to be a complete train wreck. I can see. On and for the record, uh, all rights reserved without prejudice. I, Mikael hyphen Eric. Colin Harris, comma, beneficiary and sovereign principal of the Seske Trust, am here by special appearance, participating under threat, duress, fraud, uh, coercion, harassment, and extortion, not submitting to the court's jurisdiction. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? All right. So... Um, I'm not trying to harass you or threaten you or, or anything. If you don't want to participate, then I'll just, you're responding to my call of this case. So, um, if you're not participating, then we don't need you to, you, I don't, it'll be as if you're not here. As okay. if Michael, yeah, yeah. Eric, let me just say, as if Michael Eric Harris is not here. That's on this ticket. Eric Harris is the is the trust. I'm the beneficiary of that trust, and you and the and the courts are the fiduciaries. Yeah, that that's all I can do is move. If you move forward, if you're saying that you are Michael Eric Harris, the beneficiary. If you're not saying that. I'm I'm just going by the ticket. I didn't make the ticket. So I just, you know, so if you who's on the screen now responding to the case I called are, are not saying that you are Michael Eric Harris, then I, I can't move forward. If this individual who's supposed to be a man isn't the person that's supposed to be here in court today, Your Honor, just issue a warrant for that man's arrest because that means he didn't show up. So you can issue a warrant for failure to show up. It's that simple. Stop playing games with this fool. Okay. Well, Okay. Um, what I'm saying is that your officer, your officer made a citation according to the trust. That's and not that my, trust, that's not my officer. I, I have nothing to do with the officer. Just so you uh, know, the for court. The, for, for the court, for it to be there, for me to be, be here today, under this situation, uh, it had to come from somewhere. That's the reason why I'm here. Y'all summons, y'all summons the uh, the trust, and that's the reason why I'm here. I'm here. I'm the beneficiary of that trust. Okay, I we didn't summons a trust. We summons a person of Michael yeah. Eric Eric yeah. Harris. But it yeah. was it was generated because um, an officer who is not part of the court uh, issued a citation. Uh, issued a, a ticket. So well, that, 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 officer, right. that officer started a suit against the trust. That officer started a suit against the trust with the all caps name. And that all caps name is the reason why the beneficiary is here because I'm the, I'm the photographic 
I'm the photographic representation of the beneficiary of that trust. You're the photographic beneficiary of that trust. Once again, sir, what in the doohickey are you talking about? And there was no crime committed. And failure to present the court, uh, a case deprived the court of jurisdiction against me, being a sovereign principal of the Seske Trust, who hereby moved this court to dismiss the complaint filed by the officer or policy officer for failure to present a cause of action or crime. All right. Thank you. Ms. Uh, Mason, do you have anything to state? For the record, Your Honor, Dia Mason, attorney for the city of Detroit. Um, the charges against Mr. Michael Harris, um, the beneficiary of the trust, the charges are license, improper license, unregistered vehicle, no valid insurance. Um, at this time, is Mr. Harris uh, amenable or agreeable to taking any kind of offer or amended on the charges? Uh, no offer. Uh, I sent in a, um, I sent in some documents of uh, conditional acceptance. And uh, may I ask who may be the prosecutor? Have the name of the prosecutor? Dia, D-I-A, Mason, M-A-S-O-N. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I, I guess what I'm saying is I can't move forward <clears throat> saying he's Michael Eric Harris. So I don't know if you're trying to resolve. Uh, if uh, you, So um, no one can stand in, Ms., in Michael Eric Harris's stead but Michael Eric Harris, not as anything else. Um, oh. But but so I don't want so I want to be careful because I don't want to impose something on you that isn't you and you're not acquiescing. So um, let me just say this. I'll say this. It is my understanding that you're not looking for any legal help from a licensed attorney because that's the only person who would be able to stand in the stead of Michael Eric Harris and, and move forward on his behalf. Although on misdemeanor matters, the person has to come in as as well, the actual well, defendant. Well, we know a person is a person, place, or thing, which is a noun. A building could be a person. A building could be a person. Person, noun, human, individual. This fool just really said a building can be a person. Sir, are you sure you want to represent yourself if you can't even get something that simple correct? Are you sure? A building could be a person. Anything could be a person. So the trust is the person that you're referring to with all caps. That's the person that you're referring to. I'm the beneficiary of that trust. So I, well, like I say again, who I, I hereby move this court to dismiss this complaint filed by the policy officer for failure to present a cause of action or crime. There was no crime committed. All right. No, that's not the issue of whether it was committed. That's what ultimately happens. But they have they have initiated um a citation. Which properly. is a suit. With, with with if you I can just finish, that says um the charges are driving while license not valid or improper license, driving an unregistered or untitled motor vehicle, and driving a motor vehicle without proper insurance. And all of the statutes are stated. So the court would be not dismissing anything. Uh, well, uh, well, and, if uh, uh, and, if, and if you're not moving forward with it, I, I because you're not participating as. Michael Eric Harris, and the only person who can represent Michael Eric Harris is Michael Eric Harris or a license, a Michigan licensed attorney. It's my understanding that the person in the in front of me uh, that's visible on the screen, meaning you, sir, it has declined to have a, a attorney representation. Is that correct? I just want to make sure that's clear because that's what the I, I I don't. Uh, I don't need a, an attorney nor a lawyer, but according to American Jurisprudence, Volume 11, 
Commerce to Constitutional Law, Copyright 1940, 11 Amjur, Subsection 329 states, Constitutional Law 2, Liberty Paragraph 4, personal liberty largely consists of a right of local motion to go where and when one pleases, only so far restrained as the rights of others may make it. Necessary for the welfare of all other citizens, but I'm a sovereign principle, the right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, wagon, or automobile is not a mere privilege which may be permitted or prohibited, which you call a license, but at will, but a common right, which he has under his right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness under this constitutional guarantee. Under this constitutional guarantee, one may therefore, under normal conditions, travel at his inclinations along the public highways or in public places, and while conducting himself in an orderly and decent manner, neither interfering with nor disturbing another's rights, he will be protected not only in his person, but in his safe conduct. I am not a citizen. I am a sovereign principle. I'm a sovereign free man. I'm not a citizen of this uh, corporation in order to be under your jurisdiction. It's quite hilarious that he just read all of that and he clearly doesn't understand what he's reading. And then at the end, he says that he is a sovereign. What did he say? Sovereign free man or some something to that effect. So only those rules apply to citizens. But because you want to claim you're a sovereign, none of that applies to you. And. The courts don't have jurisdiction over you. Well, if that were true, why did you even bother showing up to court since the since the, the U.S. has no jurisdiction over you? You should have just went about your merry way. You should have went, went about your day like you didn't even have a court day today. So your whole ideology is just ass backwards. It literally makes no sense, sir. You were born here in the United States, so you are, in fact, a citizen, and there is no two ways around that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Harris. I think that's that's it. I'm, I, I, I am not able, based on that, to um, dismiss this case against Michael Eric Harris. And if you aren't that person, then maybe it doesn't, it, it won't matter to you. So, um, I appreciate you and I thank you for uh, uh, putting those things on the record. And I think uh, that, that ends the case. That ends the, um, I'm sorry, not the case, the, uh, the docket. Yes, and I have presented, I have presented to, this here is the, beneficiary of the trust and you have that information there and you can look it I, up and I don't have I don't just so that you know in my file I have I don't have anything but the offer from the prosecutor and and this from uh, and the ticket so well, that, I, 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 place, I place this on the docket uh February 24th okay thank you this is for case this, so Mr S Harris Three nine two six two two one and SP one three nine nine two six two two two. I placed them on the docket, um, February twenty fourth, two thousand twenty three. I I don't want to call you because uh, you're not you're not you're not saying that you are the person that's on this ticket, but just for clarification, the only this is the person this is the person on that ticket. Let's, let me just say, can I just say, for clarification just, and for the record, the only, um, the only case that's before the court right now is case number SP one four six six five two zero counts one two and three, people versus Michael Eric Harris, and so that's all I'm doing. So uh, thank you. So whatever, if you filed something. And just so you know, this was issued after whatever you filed. This is issued on May 31st, 2023, 
and it might have, may have been for another matter. That matter is not in this file. For the okay, I, I will make sure that matter gets in that file. But, Plus, but, I've, already, I, I've sent that officer a conditional acceptance as well as yourself, um, as well as the building. I've sent that conditional acceptance with all matters pertaining into it. I'm, I'm, I'm innocent of all matters at hand. That that's okay. Thank you. I just I don't know what to tell you. I can't move forward if you're not a, um, wanting to move forward at all concerning the way uh, we process the cases. So there's no issue about beneficiary or trust or anything like that. So thank you for placing all that on the record, Mr. Harris. Uh, well, I don't know if you're Mr. Harris, but sir, thanks for placing that on the record. And you have a, a, a great day. And um, I don't know if I set a show cause or a KPS because the person who's appearing here is not wanting to participate as Michael Eric Harris at all in the matter. So you you take care, but I we we heard everything you had to say and we placed it. Uh it's been placed on the record. Well let me ask a that, question. Ms. Say, Dia is, Mason is the prosecutor, am I correct? She just said that. Okay. Who is who is who, who is the um the um clerk? Who is the head clerk over the courts, if you don't mind me asking? The head clerk. Yes, ma'am. No, no. You why don't you go on the court website, um, sir, to get to get that information, okay. which is www. I'm not. Yeah, www. I, I, I have. I have it. That's how I got to you. I, uh, okay. I have it. Dot thirty six district court dot org. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And I, just want, I just want to tell you, you're one of the nicest judges judges I've met so far. And I just have to I have to reiterate that. You're one of the nicest ones I've met so far. Even though you're doing your job according to the system, yeah. um, you're one of the nicest ones I've met so far. And I appreciate you for your kindness and your uh, ability to do what you do because of the work that you do. Thank you, Mr. Harris. I appreciate that. We just won't be able to move forward. You can think about it if you ever want to like try to resurrect. So, so let me ask you a question. Are you saying that I have to be, I have to put myself in your jurisdiction to move ahead, move ahead? Well, you're you're saying you're not this person. And so I can't, I won't, I don't want to pose that on you. Well, yes, say, what, I'm, what I'm saying is I that, know what you're Right. So it, what I'm saying is, in order for you to move ahead, you're saying that I have to put myself in your jurisdiction by saying that I understand what you're saying, and then you can move ahead because I have to put my, and in a sense, that's threat, duress, coercion, because this is what the officer did in the first place in order for me to be here in front of you. No. So you're, you're, you're saying two kind of different things. I, and it's hard because I don't, I I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't jive with the context of how we proceed on matters. So I, I'm trying to be respectful. I understand. Of what you're saying, but all I can do is say that Michael Eric Harris, I'm not talking about trust beneficiary or anything. Michael Eric Harris is not here. So I can't move a move a I can't move ahead on that. So it's like I had to process it as if Michael here, Eric Harris, the person is not here. So let me ask this question. Let me ask a question. So are you saying that when a person paid 10% of the funds or fines or whatever, that y'all don't go into the trust and take the whole 100% out? Are you saying that? Are you saying that y'all, that the judges and, and, and the courts don't go into the trust and take the whole 100% of the funds out from the ten percent that was given from the whoever it was that was uh, the litigants or whoever that was that's supposed to be um... what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, there's there's not a trust per se that like the way you're talking. And let me just say, you don't have a bond. You have I, the court has not not you. I'm going to say Michael Eric Harris on this. There's no bond. There's no bond. So there's nothing. No money right now. This, this is predisposition. 
there's no money that's been asked yeah, so, for the post. Yeah, so how can where's the accuser then? How can we bring the accuser? We're, we're not we're yeah. not at that point. But I can't get to that point. I can't even get to that point when you say when you say I'm not the one. So yeah. I so I, I just can't get to that point. So we're not at that point. The search, right. There, there, there have been there have been other quote unquote cases that we've gotten to that point at by me sharing the same information. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to do it the best way I can, Mr. Harris. <laughs> you would have to go to trial in order to face your accusers because your accusers aren't notified to be here today or not yours, but. The accuser, the accuser, correct? It would the be the officer who wrote the ticket. The witness. Some, I, I don't know, you know. It, yes, they, it's Officer Richardson. They yes. resolve he, all he, types he's of He's under cases. contract. He had, he's under contract. Okay. I sent them a con I sent them a contract and he has not uh, uh he had 10 days to um to uh reply and he's under contract according to the postal rule. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And you take care. Y'all have a great day. All right, you too. Bye bye. Thanks. And that completes the uh morning docket. Thank you, everyone. This fool doesn't even realize that the judge is about to mark him as a no-show and probably issue a warrant for his arrest.